Welcome back to the channel. For those that are new, this is a set of DaVinci Resolve tutorials where I teach other new content creators like myself the skills that I've learned. In today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to crossfade your audio so that you can go between talking segments to b-roll clips or you know anything of that nature where you need to dip the audio or raise it back up. I'm also going to show you a few tips to increase your efficiency while you are working in your timelines. And we all know that efficiency equals time and time equals money. So these are definitely things that you want to check out, so stick around. Also, like the rest of my audio tutorial videos, if you're not sure where to get your music and you need copyright for your music, I use Upbeat.io as I am on a budget and they do offer a free plan. So if that's something you're interested in, I will leave a link below and definitely go check them out. They got some good music. And without wasting any more time, let's dive into the tutorial. Welcome to the tutorial. For those that have been following along with the last couple of videos, you will no doubt recognize this timeline. And that's because we're still working on it. <clears throat> All right, so I've broken this up into two parts to make it a little bit easier to show you the two different styles of how to do this. So for the first style, I'm going to come over here, drag this up so we can see it a little better. All right, <clears throat> and we're going to do what's known as overlapping your fade in and fade out. All right, so what I like to do is I'll do these at about a second and about two seconds in on that one. And then we're going to go two seconds on this one. You want to line up your playhead. Then we're just going to drag that. Same thing on the other side. And come in two seconds. seconds here as well if I can get it okay situate our playhead I'm just gonna drag it over then we'll play it back through Just like that, you've got crossfades in your audio transitions so that you can go from talking to visual effects to B-roll and have that music change to help engage with your audience. Now we're going to look at it from another point of view. Now I've got everything kind of resituated back out and what we're going to go through, I've already got my audio kind of dialed in. Um, if that's something that you'd like to know how to kind of equalize out your audio, leave that in the comments below. But the second way, you're going to hover over right in between the transition or where you cut at on your audio and wait for that icon. You're going to right click and we're going to do just like we did when we were dragging our tails for fading in. And again, I like to use a little bit longer. So we're going to go with a 48. We're going to do the same thing on this side. So now whenever it cuts through, listen back and just like that that one is a little bit easier and one trick that makes it so much more efficient than the other way that I showed you of overlapping them is that if you have to move anything on your timeline you can just click with the icon like it shows right there with the two bars and grab it and you can literally drag it around anywhere. And if you have your snap to play head on, it'll snap wherever you set it at. So that way you can get a little bit more precise with it. <clears throat> and from here, I'm just gonna go through and do the same thing. Oh, let's cut that one, it needs to be a little smaller. A 12, a 12, and say like a 24. And just like that, your timeline is starting to get 
a little bit smoother there. And the next one, I'll show you how to equalize them out if you want. Everybody's microphones are different, so it can vary, but you can definitely normalize it to get a better sound. If you followed along with the entire video, these tips will definitely help you create better content and increase your efficiency and save you valuable time. As always, if you enjoyed the video or you found it helpful, definitely hit the thumbs up button as this helps us with the YouTube algorithm. If you have any recommendations, drop them in the comments below. These types of comments and feedback, it helps us create better videos for you so that the next tutorial is packed full of even more information. And lastly, if you want to see more content like this, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell for the notifications so that you know when we go live with our next video. Thank you, and I will catch you on the next one.